Around 2.30 a.m. this morning, fire broke out a back a residence at 185 Pike Street, Kitty. Channel 2 Headline News spoke to some of the distraught residents. Janet Brown lost everything. I just sit down here now because I just lost my house. What happened? To be honest, I really cannot say because I was, I heard some noise earlier and as usual, I would open the window if it closed and peek out to see what is taking place. So I look outside and I didn't see anything. So I go back in and I said, let me go turn on this TV. And then about like half an hour afterwards, I hear a call. Big noise. So the noise I thought was police. Right? I thought it was police. So I listened again, I peep out again to see if they, you know, in the area, because I didn't see no, I um, hear no um, vehicle, because the police vehicle got a particular sound. Mm -hmm. So I um, look out and I didn't see, but just, what is place going on? And I peep in, and eventually I go to the back step, and I see the fire. They devise them trying to out the fire, but they weren't succeeding at all. Your house insured? Mark, who is a professional barber, said he lost everything he owned, including $250,000 in cash. Ah, me money going up in frame right here. You are renting or you family house? No, you renting here. I just renting. Ah, me little money, everything born up. I come out to the shot salon. One shot, neighbor, give me these clothes. In cash alone, I lost more than $200,000 in cash. You understand? They didn't include my clothes. My sneakers, my phones, my flat screen. You know, they include these things. I ain't got no idea how the fire When the fire been up, you didn't see it, though. I ain't got no idea at all how the fire started. I know we tried for all the fire, but the fire was too much. You understand? So I had to run up and left Four houses in total were burnt. In one of the houses, Randy, Rita, Ravish, and the other three occupants lost everything. I hear um, sugar hauling for fire, fire, right? Mm. The all I hear and me never open my back door. Me back door yeah. We see the big fire over in this yard. Day. And by the time we, um, me and me, I have a shovel. And I, I um, <laughs> hustle, run out with she. And me, she runs down. I, I barely grab this bag. We lost everything. This we, this we sleeping clothes Dude, we got down. And they're barefoot. Bare How many persons lived at that house? Um, Three upstairs and um, three downstairs and three upstairs. Oh. My name is Rani, my oh. aunt, my aunt, my name is Rita, and she's son's name is Radish. The dog over step. I don't know what I'm going to put in now. What I'm going to carry, I know where to go. Where am I going to put this dog? This dog is mine, it's a baby. I ain't got no way to carry and put in. I ain't got nothing for where, I ain't got nothing, nothing. Everything I lose. Savitri Mandor said that she cut her hand trying to jump over her gate. Yeah, I get my hand bleed because I had to jump the gate this morning. I don't know where I get it caught. It was on the car or what. I had because like, you get so excited, I couldn't get the gate open. I had to jump. Where are you going to stay now? Oh, I don't know. I don't know where I'm staying. Right now, my son's in the back of the yard. I don't know where he's going to go or where he's going to stay. He has no one to. For Channel 2 Headline News, I am Wendell Jeffrey.